All right, last video, we made it so you can die. This video, uh, let's let's quickly make it so you can restart, and then I'll see if we want to uh, shut it off, or if I want to shut it off, or go on to add um, food spoiling and then turning into poison. So let's go back to our code, and we want to make it so you can restart. So we have a restart button, so we're going to need to do an event handler for that. So let's go restart. That is my event listener. Let's go back here, and that gets added in. Oh, that gets added in. Start. Here. So we get our restart button. Get element by ID, just like we did before. Um, this time we're adding an event listener not to the document itself, but we're adding it to the restart button. So we probably could do. Um, we could say um, let restart button equal, and yeah, let's do this. Um, that was not what I wanted. And then we can say restart button dot add event listener. That makes things a little clearer. And actually we can put that right here. So the document we already have, we don't need to do, we don't need to get that. But here, let's get the button first, get a reference to it, then we'll add the event listener click. And when we have a click, we're going to do the restart function. So let's get the restart function that is here. And we don't do, we're not doing scores yet, so we'll just call start. So when you, uh, let's do this um, right here. HTML. You can see that when the when the browser finishes load like gets to the end of loading this page, uh, we have a script tag that just has the JavaScript script, uh, start in it, and that will cause this start function. So as soon as you restart the page, you're playing. If we want to restart without having to re reload the page, we can have a function called restart that's just going to call start. Now, I'm not sure if that really makes any sense. I think we'll have a restart button that just calls start directly. There's no reason to have a function called start that re, you know, we don't need we don't need to express the idea that to restart the game we call start. We can just have restart button call start and that tells us the same thing. It tells us that a restart means we're hitting start again. So let's let's do that. Let's go back to our code and we'll restart and then we'll die. And then we'll hit restart. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Restart, something is not working, which is totally normal. This happens a lot. So we hit, we said restart button, add event listener click does start. That is going to hit start again. I have a feeling, I, I honestly do not know what is going on. I think I'm seeing over in my other code that I have um, I have snake setup and canvas. I have a snake setup function. So I'm guessing what happens is that, let's see what snake setup does. Yeah, I need to reset. Let's go after canvas. I need to reset the snake. So um, I need to get the, I'm going to go to um, midway in between uh, left and right, midway between up and down. And I'm going to make sure that if it's an even, if it's an odd number, so if it was, if the number of cells was three and I divided by two, I would get one and a half. So I'm just going to take math.floor and chop that down to one. So X will be one. And it's okay if X has got, a, you know, a decimal part that's zero. Same thing with Y. Let's go into the middle. Then we'll reset snake parts to a new array that has an object where the X is set to our X, Y is set to Y. So we'll put our snake back in the middle and we'll reset our direction to going right because we're adding one to X, which goes to the right. So there we go. That will reset our thing. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, restart. There we go. So now we can restart and it'll put us back in the middle. All right. That's enough for now, and then maybe in the next video I'll do food spoiling. But you know what? I want to do. I want to set this to maybe a third. 
I don't want to be in the middle if I'm going right. I want to give the player a little bit more time. So let's do this now. Restart. Yeah, so we're starting up here about one third from the top, one third from the right. And I mean, I've got it set to go very fast, but that, that works out pretty good. So I'll cut this off here and then we'll do some more in the next video.